the bike. <coughs> ah, this is a bummer beyond belief. So, um, on Saturday, it was a four o'clock game for the. I'm just trying to get a photo of my bike. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. What do I want? I'll do this one. All right. So it was a four o'clock game for the Avalanche on Saturday. And it was a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. And I've lost a bunch of weight. Okay. So I'm feeling pretty awesome these days, physically. And just to be outside and ride that bike on the Cherry Creek Trail, which is an 18-mile push from my house downtown, but it's it's like there's one little uphill area around um, Kennedy Golf Course, but the rest of the ride basically downtown is more or less slow, gradual downtown, Cherry Creek Path, meaning you can really push hard. You can get a real fun, fast. You can do, I can do 18 miles in less than an hour. It's crazy. Um, going home the other way is a little bit different. There's a employee entrance with a bike rack that is very seldomly used, but it's right near the employee entrance. And I've locked my bike there kind of on purpose because it's just kind of out of the way. You really... Wouldn't put your eyes on the bike there. And I had a, a um, like a cord lock, you know, it was like a combination. And so I did not have a U lock. Okay. Never mind two U locks, but I've been using this combo combination cord lock literally for years, years. And I've locked my bike in that spot outside of Ball Arena at least a dozen times. <coughs> Excuse me. This is this is my bike right there. Uh, let's see. Is it better if I go like that? I uh, know. It's kind of hard to see like that. Anyways, that's my baby. And um, gone when I got back from the game eight o'clock not that late at night game started for finished everything up done by eight no bike and it's devastating devastating uh reported it to the police reported it to ball arena security um did, went to bikeindex.com um, Hey, I'm, I'm wearing some Trek stuff today. Cause I'm a Trek guy. I have been for years. My guy, Chris at Trek, uh, Boulder bicycle, Trek bicycle, Boulder. What do you guys call yourselves? It's Trek bicycle and Boulder in the names and Isaac up at, um, Trek Highlands ranch bicycle have been great. But Chris in particular has been amazing over the years. And I reached out and he gave me some advice on, trying to report it um but it's it's what can i tell you um i have a very deep emotional connection to that bike in particular um it's a, you feel violated you feel upset depressed um the concept that i just can't go and jump on that bike and i try to ride my bike as much as humanly possible every day of my life. If there is an option, if there's any way throughout the course of the day, I can just be on my bike compared to driving. I'll always, always take my bike and being in better shape. Um, you know, and the weather getting nicer and it's tough, man. It's tough. So I'm I'm not totally giving up. I mean, maybe there's a chance. I've put it out there on social media. Um, I'll put it out there right now. There it is. 
So it's a Trek bike. It's it's got some cool components to it, electronic shifting, and ah, I miss it. Miss it. It's hundreds and hundreds. I mean. Hundreds of miles, hundreds of hours over the years through the pandemic. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Kept it in great shape. Nothing wrong with it. Just, you know, just like people, parts get worn down a little bit. You just got to replace them. So no, no desire on my part whatsoever to like get a new bike. Um, in terms of getting rid of that, none, just, just gone, gone. So I know this is kind of a bummer to wrap the podcast up on. Um, don't even know what else to say. I mean, it's as simple as that. I took it to the game, locked it up, put it in a spot that I thought it was safe. I guess I didn't use a good enough lock, but I have locked that bike up with that lock a hundred times outside, and it's been just fine. Except for Saturday. Devastating. Um, So, it's just a thing. It's not a person. Uh, I know that, so I don't want to get too wrapped up into it. But it was, well, for me personally, it it was just, it meant a lot to me personally. Oh, my God. So, stop it. BMAC, Varen. That's it. I guess I guess there really isn't more, much more to say. It's, uh, I had a d- deep emotional connection to that particular bike. Um, most people have been extremely kind and they understand um, a lot of people have been through that same sort of situation. Uh, and for the record, it's the third time that I've had a bike stolen. One, I had a mountain bike that my son was using uh, back in high school. We have a Jimmy John's a mile down the road, and he was locking his bike um, to a bike rack outside of King Supers near the Jimmy John's. That got stolen out in Centennial. That's where I live in the suburbs. I, my younger son, by accident, left the garage door open. I had a Pinarello, which was a beautiful bike too. And that got stolen out of my garage in the suburbs. And now I've had my Trek bicycle um, stolen, um, you know, downtown. So, strangely, politics got into this mix. Um. It's the third time I've had a bike stolen once right out of my house, once downtown, the other time locked up in the suburbs. It sucks. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm up for suggestions. If anybody has any ideas of what to do, but I, I, I'm pretty much resigned to the fact that it ain't happening. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, it'd be amazing to get it back. It'd be unreal. Uh, but at this point, it'd basically be unreal. So, so there you go. The bike story. That's where we're at. All right. D Mac smack D Mac smack. I'll start at the bottom. Cause I just, uh, did all this stuff. Uh, we go here. Time to put D- Dan Tanner's bike to use. Yes. That is funny. Um, and in, Gone, chipping in. Oh, well, that's a, a thank you, Ann, and I appreciate that. Uh, first of all, um, any kind of money absolutely helps the channel and what we're trying to do here. Um, and my guy, Brent, replacement bike fund. That is super nice. Thank you, guys. You know how much I, I love and appreciate everybody who watches this channel. Um, People steal wherever and whatever affiliation you are. That sucks. Yeah, I agree. Oh, my guys. Come on. On to the next bike. Sorry to hear. All too familiar feeling. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate it. That's incredibly generous. Um, 
Let's get some other comments here. Is it just me? Or does Jokic look gassed? Ga is that what you meant? Um, no, he's he's good. I mean, he's dealing with stuff. It's tiring the season, but Malone's managing the time the best they can. Yeah, he's. I mean, they're all a little bit tired at this point. But don't forget, the Nuggets will avoid the play-in, so they they'll get like six days off. I mean, just they get essentially a bye week after, and they have seven games left. And they have been at home for uh, a solid chunk of time. So it's not that bad. Uh, D, ask them to check the cameras for your bike. I have done that. It's great advice. I've done it. And tomorrow when I go to the game, they said they'll need some time to pull it, I guess. Uh, but I should see who stole my bike tomorrow. There are cameras on the bike rack. I know that for a fact. Um, so we'll see. Uh, rocks are going to have to work real hard to hold on to last plays. Oh my God. Too funny. Uh, we go with Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. D max new bike fund. Very generous. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, all right, let me go up to the top then as we get to the comments on the bottom and I appreciate all you guys. Whoops. Oh, come on now. Okay. Good morning, D-Max. Sounding better. Oh, physically. <clears throat> so you say something, I'm going to cough. But physically, yeah, I'm feeling way better. You know, I still got a little, just a little something left. Not much, though. Good morning, D-Max. Are you going to have Mosher's wife paint you like she did Vic? I think I'd need to lose. I mean, I'm down close to 40 pounds. I think I'd need to lose another 15 to model in front of uh, Bear. I have no idea which quarterback the Broncos may draft, but I'm fascinated to find out which quarterback Sean Payton loves. Well, we are certainly getting closer. Georgia. All right. About last night, I'm coaching my eight-year-old daughter's flag football team, and we lost 36 to 12. If this keeps up, James Maryland is going to call me Teflon Kev. I've heard parents calling for your head, Kevin. I think they're crazy. Good morning. What are the minimum amount of games the Nuggets can lose and still make the playoffs? Because whoever needs the rest, just take the rest of the season off, get healthy at all costs. And in, that's a great question because they actually clinched a playoff berth. So they could lose all seven games and still make the playoffs. They clinched the playoffs yesterday with the win. You know, Andrew was super pumped for his boy, Colin Gillespie's monster dunk. Is that right? Okay. Georgiev, since the All-Star game, has had to allow three goals before becoming a brick wall. Um, yeah, it's frustrating. I get it. Yeah, still celebrating with Gillespie's mom out here on Gillespie Island. Uh, that's funny. All right. Oh, Edward, thank you, brother. That's that's very that's very nice. Um also real tied team made the college football playoff in final four. Bama, that's it. Man, Wade Cotton. I don't know if, if there's a more Alabama name than Wade Cotton. Thank you, everybody, for your contributions. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for participating with uh, Ed Prather at edprather.com, the number one most trusted real estate team in Colorado. Ed and his team, and boy, it's a team. Ed, Dominic Miller, Ashley, Abby, Andrea, Blaze. Um, oh, we had a couple of contractor guys come over over the weekend. We got a new roof put on. Um, thank you for all your hard work. Um, many kind comments. Look at you incredible with the donations okay you're choking me up a little bit uh you guys are great it makes doing this so rewarding and it makes me um motivated to keep on plugging away so thank you thank you thank you avalanche tonight against columbus we'll talk football nfl with nate and chad 
Coming up, there's a fascinating article by Mike Kliss about what's gone out and what's come in. And the numbers are staggering if you really want to understand the impact of this Russell Wilson deal. It's crazy. Okay, we'll talk to you at 9 o'clock with Chuckle at Payne with Nate and Chad. Um, then noon to 3 on with uh, Tyler and Scott. That should be a blast today. Rockies play at noon. Avalanche play at 5. I'll be out at Avid Caddy starting at 4.30. Would love to see you out at Avid Caddy. That'd be great. You know, come by when I'm there. Play golf. Have fun. Um, and the two sponsors that we have right now are Ed Prather and Avid Caddy. So thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And thank you also uh, to my great friends at Trek for being so kind and generous. And um, got to get that going. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you at 9 o'clock.